Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be attempting to install Bottles, install the iTunes EXE software on a Linux system. In this case, my Linux system being Debian 11, running the most up-to-date kernel. As we can see here, I'm running kernel 6.1.0-5, so we will be attempting to use this. So, get into the business now. Bottles is designed as a way of installing uh, Windows EXEs inside of a sandboxed environment, meaning it doesn't have any access unless you give it access. It's not automatic access like most bits of software are. So, what you do is come to the Bottles website. In this case, it's bottles.com and install it via the Flatpak. Now, if you already have Flatpak, it will just come down and work without any hassle. As we can see, Apparently it's not supported, but it is. So what we're going to do, because I have it installed, I have Flathub installed already, so what we want to do is just grab our terminal and do Flatpak install. Well, we've already got uh, bottles installed anyway, so what we want to do is do Flatpak run com.usebottles.bottles as we can see, the master is not installed, so what we want to do is just go through the process of confirming everything. Looking for this, uh, yes. So apparently I had forgotten that I have not installed bottles previously, which is fine. So we can get to see the process, install process in, in real time. See here, this is just going through and updating everything. Uh, we've got WineHQ, some DLLs for that, the Gecko Mono, so the ability to look at uh, HTMLs, some of this updated, as well as some networking drivers and all. But it's just generally getting everything working. Now, this is what you could expect from a decent internet connection. Because you also have to remember, it's not how fast your internet is, it's how fast the server you're attempting to download from is. Because it's all well, it's all well and good. You could have that experimental Japanese internet connection that managed to reach terabytes per second. But if you're connecting to a server that's uh, running on a, a IBM t uh, PC2 PC2 machine, there's no point having like a really hot fast speed. It's really really slow. So this is just dependent on how fast the server is in this case. Coming down decently fast. Now we need to wait for this to finish off, which it is just done. And we want bottles. Derek says, hey, look, not found. Go through the process. Uh, welcome to bottles, windows and bottles. Yes, continue. Almost done. I'm going to go through the process. Hey, look, I'm getting myself sorted out here. Thank you. Now, as we can see here, what it's doing is just going through, installing what it needs to. Um, as we can here it's doing some DXVK stuff, some wine bridges. Now that would be there. Knowing how this works, it's probably just there as a network bridge. So again, problem solved. But it's also nice running, running it through this. You actually get to see everything that's happening. Now not everything allows you to see what's happening, but this is something nice. And just finally see what see what's going on. So now this is just going through the process of renaming, and it's. Now ready, so start using bottles. Now I can add items here from the bottles program list. So let's do create new bottle and we're going to call it uh, iTunes. Give it the proper name. Application, yeah, just leave everything as standard. We go create. Configuration is being set up as we can see here. Use server, server site synchronization. Yeah, synchronization. I will get there with my words eventually. It's just going to go through the process of getting everything set up. See here, you're running the wine runtime, setting up the or setting the Windows version, just going through and setting date into iTunes registry, making sure everything's working. DXVK and Vulkan, as well as uh, the unfortunate Microsoft Arial font, uh, Arial uh, 32. We all love Arial font here. We don't. Uh, Aldo the Apache is a much better font, in my opinion. It's not Word, Microsoft. 
Plus, I'll do the Apache is a very nice font anyway. But not all bits of trap, not all bits of software are as transparent as this, which it is nice to see. So we can thank FlatHub and Flatpak for giving us the ability to see everything that's going on. As we can see here, this was created, so we're going to go, hey, look, I would like to install programs. I would like to install my own programs. So what we need to do, go to, uh, click run executable, uh, to run executable, add shortcuts to execute programs, programs list, or install programs. So go to library, Dead library. We don't we don't want to create a new bit so this is where things could get a bit funky so support executables that's fine go my desktop and then i set up and click run error running command line and and as we can see here we now have itunes running and will it work because it's not just the fact of will it work it's will it work properly um, no, I don't want all to run. So the reason why I say will it work properly before is because properly. I've made a previous video about this, but running it through Wine. Because if I try and do uh, iTunes, said iTunes. Okay. I already have iTunes installed, but not through bottles. Now, if I were to run iTunes through the wine installation, it wouldn't work because it has an HTML issue. Um, no, I don't want to be able to talk to our iPods because they get nuked after the fact. Fine. But this is not something I had first time. So if I say, hey, look, iTunes. Oh, no, don't want that. If I say, I want iTunes. And if we compare the two versions, find out which one is better, find out that this version here is significantly better. Because if I click and drag, can't click and drag, but this is the bottles version of wine, of, of iOS, and this is the wine version of iTunes. So, as we can see here, there are advantages or well, there are advantages and disadvantages of running bits of software. In this case, this version here doesn't work at all. So it could be possible to just jam in an iPod if I had one or an Apple device and say, hey, look, do the do. Now, there are some issues here and there, such as this has a you can see the bo uh, bounding box for it. Uh, there's a bounding box issue here, but other than that, if there was anything, as we can see here, I could connect directly to the Sky Television box, sat downstairs. I wouldn't be able to see that if I was running it through Wine. Uh, for example, I could have a look around the iTunes store. Now, all of this, all of these bits here, these are just separate HTML elements. Like this is expected, because bearing in mind we're running. A bit of Apple software on a non-Apple system or a not a, on a non-supported system, so I would expect some jumpiness and funkiness. But it works. We've got the we've got the typical English. Now that's what I call gold. Um, now that's what I call music one thirty three. That's of the Vita. Now one hundred and thirty three versions of them. That's insane. Getting called too. I might have to look at that. But this is the sort of thing you can expect from using bottles. It works. Now, uh, to say the thing that many Linux users don't often say, it just works. Honestly, it's it's just it's just a fantastic bit of software, and I can't believe how well it's running. Now we could add files. We could do we could do the usual Apple uh, iTunes stuff. Cracker Island for gorillas. Very nice. But as we can see, it works. It's functional. I could add my account if I wanted to. 
and then have a look at all my stuff. But I'm not going to because I don't need to. We're going to leave it here. So I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you're not already uh, subscribed, maybe consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell, as well as clicking that like button. Because if you liked the video, click it so I know. But if you didn't like the video, click the dislike button, leave a comment to say, say why you didn't like it, and I will try my best to answer you. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.